Hello guys and assalamu alaikum and fine you're getting into live so in previous video we saw that how we can configure or create our APIs in Next.js uh, which can be used as a backend server and now I will create a swagger documentation for that particular API so let's start with this video so I have already installed a library which is called swagger UI react and uh, though after you install it you just need to pm run dev and do some configuration which is create a lib folder lib lab folder on a root level not in src but on a root level and then on this uh, lab folder create a swagger.ts or you can create a swagger.js uh, if you don't have a typescript on your uh, uh, on your you can say project so here i am uh, extracting a swagger create spaces from this uh, library which is already installed in our uh, in our uh, uh, you can say project with this library and then you just need to create a function which is this one in this function i have configuring uh, for our our api documentation so here i'm uh, i'm giving the folder name which is src slash app slash aip which is src slash app slash api folder then uh, the entry point of or for this documentation will be app uh, slash api then i'm giving some uh, versions uh, 3.0.0 then uh, example description for our title and then version and then etc things http and bear and jwt etc then i have created uh, api doc api dash doc folder which uh, which will be a ui for our in our this project so i created a page.tsx which will be display all the uh, listing apis and their functionality and etc parts so here i'm expect extracting uh, the function which we created get api doc from the lab slash uh, swagger folder swagger file and then uh, extracting this react swagger which will be from a file which i will show you later so then i am already create and uh, create a function or you can say a component which is index page uh, the name is index page then getting uh, the function uh, calling in this uh, in this in this component and then from this spaces when we getting we just setting in our react swagger uh, component which is there is another react dash swagger dot tsx which is uh, also in api dash talk and in that uh, component i am just doing some basic rendering for our ui ex already extracting this swagger ui react which have, which i have installed earlier than the props for specific if i'm using typescript or if you're using if you're not using typescript you just ignore it uh, and just uh, pass species as which we ex which we which we which we define from this prop so after that this is a, a ui uh, default component from this library which i'm using to display the apis so after all this configuration you just need to go on your api folder in my case uh, i have api slash get user which we created earlier in the video in the earlier video and in this particular route i have create i have defined this, this swagger you can say uh, uh attribute or you can say uh what that's called i'm not sure about the name but yeah uh let's let's uh focus on this one so yeah uh, uh on the swagger on the on, on defining the swagger attribute then i define a you i with the path which will be display on the api api slash get dash users and then which what's the api is it's a for get request then a simple description then what response will it show then so currently it has a response 200 or if i want to add like another 400 then it should be like this and in description i will just do it not found so let's see what we got here in our this api log so if i refresh this so you can see this have a uh, api which i already dis which i already configured as api slash get user then there's no parameter required then these two will be the code which we which i already included here and here i am getting this uh, api so but here i can't try this uh, because i don't have any input for any parameters and i can same do it with for the post api so let's do one thing and do here for the post api so i just need to do a post and let's see what we got here 
so you got a post request as well and we don't and we, we we can't even try this api also because we don't have any input field so let's try to add input field in it 